What's up with it? It's your boy Big Dog C Lo Baby, man. I first off I wanna say, man, rest in peace to take off, man. I wanna send my condolences to his family, bro. On everything, man. Now y'all, let, let's let's go back. Let's think about this. Okay. You had the Duke the Jeweler situation where he was at in Houston at a dice game. And somehow after the dice game, his tragedy happened. Okay, you come back to the takeoff situation where he was at. Houston, where he was at, a dice game, and guess what? Who was at both events? You had mob ties affiliated people in the sun. Y'all know his name. I ain't gonna say it. Okay, you got the same person at both of these events, his people, and somehow these people is losing their life for stupid reason. I mean, simple reason. You like, hold on, bro, again. I'm letting y'all know right now, the sun is putting all y'all rappers on notice. They is putting y'all on notice because they figure like, okay, we got Houston in a chokehold. It's really just one big, one family got that whole thing in a chokehold. Now, when you go to LA, you got the Bloods, the Crips, and everything else out there. But really in Texas, most in Houston, it's one family got a chokehold on that city. So they trying to keep that rain going because you know what? The daddy, he's getting older. He's phasing out at some point. So guess what? The son, he's coming up trying to take that rain and he trying to put his thing down. Let y'all know, hey, look, hey, this my city. Hey, it's getting passed down to him. And I'm telling y'all, for him to walk past that man body like that, just, just like he didn't even like okay yeah but bro he he's with y'all this man with y'all showing love bro first off your player your man arguing with this man that's one of your wolves if you ain't want nothing happen you could have just said hey man bro leave that alone man and your player your partner would have left that man alone but you know what you ain't let it you ain't stop it because you know what i think probably the Migo came down there and they didn't because it seems like the, they so big on respect and somehow they probably felt slighted like, hey, bro, y'all come down here. Y'all ain't show no respect or, you, you know, I'm trying to hit y'all dude with this extortion and y'all ain't with it. So get what? Hey, man, go get them. You know, start some wood. We're we going to start some stuff going up. And guess what? One of they player, they they homeboy felt that, felt that, uh, that, that play. And they feel like, hey, I'm going to up my pills and get up out of here. Because they already knew, oh, bro, they going to get at us. So that would probably happen. The man in the, in the situation got hit. But, bro, y'all cannot tell me that the son could not stop what was going on. He is not stopping this. Y'all, this man, it seems like every time he's around a situation, something bad is going on. If these people is not showing him their respect he wanted, so he's sending these. I ain't saying he doing this, but it's like, bro, something is going. Some ain't right. Some ain't right because, come on, bro, dice game, Houston, Houston dice game. What the hell is with these dice game? And like I say, let me tell y'all and tell you something. When y'all going into these four cities, stop thinking that uh, just because I'm cool with the with these people that run Houston or these bloods or these crips in LA's or, or your homeboy in Miami. Bro, you is not cool. Get y'all some security. Get y'all some security with some military background that ain't playing no game, that gonna thump a motherfucker when they come up close to you. That's who y'all need. I don't know what is going on with y'all. Y'all think these folk, these folk that y'all cool with and put their life on the line for y'all. And then, like they said, your friends out there wildfire and they probably didn't hit the man. That's why I say, bro. Get y'all some security with some military background that we real familiar with guns because most of these hood dudes they not familiar with guns. They they on they ain't they only shotguns in the back of their house or on an off street that ain't nobody going on. These dudes don't know nothing about pistols, y'all. I'm telling y'all, get y'all some damn security ASAP. Spend that money because it will be beneficial to you in the end because you'll be able to go home to your family every night. But I'm telling y'all, when you're going to Houston, they is hitting y'all ass with this friendly press and time out shooting dice. 
These folks ain't trying to shoot dice with y'all. They checking y'all goddamn temperature. And if y'all temperature ain't right, they gonna knock y'all motherfucking head off y'all shoulder. Y'all better wake up because them boys ain't playing in Houston. They trying to put that. He putting y'all ass on notice. And I guess what? Y'all ass on notice now. And y'all know he ain't playing. Like I say, I feel like he trying to, he trying to put himself at the forefront to let y'all know that, look, this was going down now. This my city, and this how I'm going to run it. Your ass going to either get down or your ass might lay down. And I think a lot more of y'all going to get down instead of laying down. Because every time, just think about this, y'all. Anytime a rapper go to Houston, every one of them taking a picture with that family. Come on now. Y'all don't give a damn what y'all say. Every time somebody go to Houston, somebody taking a picture with their family. So I'm saying this. Y'all getting extorted when y'all going down there. Y'all can say, oh, man, no, oh, man, they family. Bro, you getting extorted. Yes, yes, we know. They hitting y'all with that good friendly prayer and y'all dropping it off. Y'all doing it. I already know it because you can tell it's going down. Just think about it. Every rapper come through Houston going to show respect. Y'all going to do it, and y'all know it. And if y'all don't, I wonder what happened when y'all don't because they checking y'all temperature at these die games. Boy, y'all better stay away from these die games in Houston because they, roll, they rolling y'all ass over. But, man, that's all I want to say about this situation, man. Rest in peace to take off, man. I want to send my condolences to his family once again, y'all. Let's get it.